Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Inventor's Quick Tips. In this episode, we'll be discussing using AI to make patent drawings. AI is finding applications in many areas, and patents are no exception. In a previous episode, we took a look at how ChatGPT performed when making some claims, and I will put a link to that episode in the description. So let's say, for the purposes of example, I have an invention that is related to some functionality of a smartwatch. And for my patent application, I'd like to include a drawing of a user wearing and using the smartwatch. Now before we go too deep into the AI part of this, it is possible to create patent drawings from a photograph using PowerPoint. I made a previous episode showing how to do this, and I will put a link to that in the description. Now this is an effective technique, but it is time consuming, and also you need to have a photo or drawing to work from, which may not always be available. This is where I think AI can help, since through prompting we may be able to get an image that we can use with minimal modification. So let's see what happens when I ask Copilot, which is Microsoft's AI service, to provide me some pictures of someone using a smartwatch. Okay, so these are not bad, but they are not suitable for direct use as a utility patent drawing. Now we could use the PowerPoint technique that I just talked about to take one of these drawings and make it a patent drawing. But let's see if we can get Copilot to make the drawings black and white so they could be used directly as patent drawings. So now I've asked Copilot to draw a hand and arm wearing a smartwatch in a patent drawing style. It looks a little better. The one in the upper right is not quite what you'd expect in a patent drawing. That's sort of a inverse color scheme there going on. The other three, at least they look like patent drawings, but let Let's look deeper into another similar drawing that Copilot made. Here is a close up of uh, a different drawing that Copilot made. Now, the illustrations could qualify as a patent drawing. Ignore that purple tinge on the lower hand. That was Copilot doing that. But this drawing has what I guess are supposed to be reference numbers. Some of it is nonsensical, such as this weird symbol up there, up top. Then you have these reference numbers pointing to other reference numbers. That's not something we normally would see in a patent drawing. And just for good measure, we have some reverse numbers. Now, I tried asking Copilot not to include reference numbers, but it couldn't do it. And I think the reason is that Copilot isn't actually aware of what reference numbers are. It was probably trained on what patent drawings look like, and it knows that patent drawings have numbers or symbols and lines pointing to stuff, but it doesn't actually know what reference numbers are. So I manually removed the reference numbers using a graphics editor, which gives me this. So this is a nice looking drawing, although it is a bit of a old-timey style of drawing that you would see in perhaps a 1950s patent, but it would meet the requirements. However, today, it is more typical to have line drawings, but in the interest of saving time and effort, I could use this drawing in a patent application. And assuming that my invention uh, pertained to some thing being displayed on the smartwatch, I could, put, I could edit this figure to put my invention stuff on the smartwatch, and then add my own reference numbers to it, as you see here. So this could qualify as an acceptable patent drawing. So in summary, AI won't replace a patent draftsman anytime soon. So if you are a patent draftsman, do not panic. There's still going to be a need for uh, patent draftsmen to make patent drawings. However, I do feel that AI could have limited use for what I call use case drawings. Here we wanted to show somebody using the smartwatch. Um, AI could have use for creating images that we need to show an example. I do think that with appropriate model training, Copilot and other AI engines could generate the kind of drawings we need without the reference numbers, and then they could be customized as needed. And I think that could be a useful way that AI could augment and uh, help in the field of patent drawings. So I hope that you found this uh, 
episode helpful and interesting? If so, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you again for watching.